Hey everyone, I've been trying to figure out the most accurate way to describe the Sony RX100 Mark V, and I think I finally found it. The Sony RX100 Mark V is equivalent to an overachieving fresh graduate. Hear me out. Fresh graduates are products of big institutions that churn out new products every year whether you like it or not. They come with their own spec sheet, demand a high price for the service, and are readily available for your torture. So you, being the person looking to procure a fresh graduate, look at their spec sheet and see very promising things. So you pile up loads of work for them to do all at once and expect them to work their magic because on paper they should be able to handle everything you throw at them. And when they don't deliver up to your unimaginable standards, you flip out and begin to blame it all on them and their whole generation for being expensive but useless. Sounds pretty accurate, right? So, taking into account all that I just said, I found parallels with the way I treated the RX100 Mark V. You see, I expected so much from the camera right out of the box, but when the battery kept dying or the photos didn't come out the way I wanted them to, I started to really think lowly of the camera. But after I realized how wrong I was to treat the RX100 Mark V that way, I began to understand its place and its purpose. So in my review, I have five pros that I like to talk about with this camera. And the first being the appearance, because you know, that's really anything anybody notices the first time they see something. The RX100 Mark V looks very clean, very stealthy, and very sleek. And this goes along well with the handling for the camera. It feels great in the hands. The camera has a fast lens with a good zoom range, and the bokeh at the telly end is pretty impressive due to the wide aperture. And that being said, the second point is the image quality, which is quite phenomenal. Even with a 1 inch sensor, the color rendition, tones, and clarity of the JPEGs are more than what point and shoots usually offer. Not only that, the video quality on this camera is without any doubt crazy good. 1080p HD is fantastic, 4K is crispy, and slow motion is really, really appreciated. Another remarkable feature of this camera is its lightning speed autofocus. Even with shooting sports in very low light conditions, the camera was able to lock on focus and track the subject. When I first tried out the camera in low light, I didn't really expect to get much, but when I reviewed the photos on the computer, I was really blown away. Lastly, which is something the youth of today can really relate to, is the capability of this camera to connect to a smartphone. Thus, on paper and in the field, it seems like the Sony RX100 Mark V can do it all. But then again, it does come with a lot of drawbacks. Firstly, like a fresh graduate who lacks experience, you really can't get this camera to do the things that you really want them to do. Hey, Mr. Stark, what should I do? For me, I could use the lens ring for manual focus because I couldn't find or there isn't an option to do that. I couldn't find a way to stop the camera from turning off every time I retracted the viewfinder. I couldn't find a way to stop it from displaying the error message upon startup. There isn't an option for zoom memory so that the camera remembers the last focal length I used. And there isn't an option for zoom steps where the zoom would stop at familiar focal lengths within the range. Despite all its amazing potential too, you really have to pace yourself when using this camera. 4K video recording can only go on for a maximum of I don't know, 20 minutes before the camera heats up and then runs completely out of battery. This camera is heating up, I have to be fast. Image quality in low light is awful. ISO 6400 is completely non-usable. Last but not least, and this is a peculiar thing about this camera, there isn't digital zoom for those desperate moments. With 20 megapixels, the camera has some room for in-camera cropping so that people who need that extra reach beyond the 70 millimeters can get the shot without having to just crop it in post-production. So there you have it, a candidate with an impressive spec sheet and great potential, but with some major flaws. But to be fair, you're looking to procure a fresh graduate whose purpose is to fill a role that does not require extreme expertise or abilities. Yes, they may possess the attributes that you have been looking for, but at the end of the day, they're not there to do top-level jobs. Of course, it comes at a high price, but you'll be able to easily capture photos and videos with exceeding quality. So in terms of the Sony RX100 Mark V, 
you're looking at a digital compact camera that gives you the power of a high-end camera in a pocketable device. For a more technical review of the Sony RX100 Mark V, head over to the Fear. The link is in the description. Huge thanks goes to Sony Malaysia for lending me the RX100 Mark V for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one, take care.